Hello everybody, I wanted to show you a great example of triadic playing. Here is um, an extract from B11 solo on Someday My Prince Will Come and we're going to listen to a couple of phrases where he's using uh, exclusively the triad and we're going to discuss uh, how effective uh, it is. All right, so let's listen to that first and we'll talk about it right after. All right, pretty cool uh, phrases here. So let's uh, come back here and let's have a look. We can see on B flat major seven, he is starting with the F major triad, B flat major triad, and then again, F major triad. And here it's the same, just uh, in octaves. And all right, so we can see on B flat major, um, major seven, he is using a, the major triad starting on the fifth degree. So he's going to play the ninth, right? And then the tonic triad. So it's, he's basically also playing just five, one, five. All right, over uh, the tonic chord. Here it's uh, D7, okay? So don't this is a, a, a mistake d7 chord however he is playing a b flat augmented triad all right or a d augmented triad it's the same thing all right but watch out because it's not really a d augmented chord because all right we're going to have an a natural so however you can play with that augmented triad with the flat 13 D, F sharp, B flat, and that gives me the sound of an augmented triad. And that's what he's doing here. So again, F major triad and B flat. And B flat augmented. Then on E flat major seven is playing again the major uh, triad on starting on the fifth degree. So basically the same exact idea as here, okay? On B flat major seven, it's starting on the fifth degree and it's, play, and it's playing F major and B flat major. And then on E flat major seven, it starts on the fifth degree and plays B flat major and E flat major. And then he lands on the first downbeat with this B flat over G7, so that gives me this uh, altered color, but then he's playing G major triad right here. Okay, so you can see how the two phrases are completely and exclusively based on triads. And then there's this little chromatic uh, melody here. And let's uh, move on, see uh, what he does after that. Here on C minor seven, he's going to simply play C minor triad, down and up, all right? And then same thing, this chromatic melody here. Here on G seven, uh, he's playing this, again, this augmented triad, B augmented triad. And that's a G7 chord. So he's alternating C minor triad, B did C minor triad, his A augmented or F augmented or D flat augmented, however you prefer to look at it, it's exactly the same. All right, so again, just triad, C minor triad, B augmented, C minor triad, F augmented. Okay, so let's see the end of this section. 
what he's doing. And then here, it's a F minor seven. It's not a B flat chord. It's an F minor seven. However, he does play a B flat, sorry, a B flat uh, major triad. All right, so this transcription is, is good, but sometimes there's some uh, little um, inaccuracy, okay? This is not a B flat chord, it's an F minor chord here. However, he does play this B flat uh, major triad. And then again, B flat triad, and then he adds the uh, flat seven. Then again, you see uh, B flat triad, G minor triad. Here we have uh, E diminished, G diminished, which gives us a complete chord, obviously. Here on E flat major seven, it's G minor, he's playing G minor seven. Here it's playing E diminished seven. All right, so you can see how uh, he's really using those triads in those phrases, okay? So I thought it was a cool illustration of uh, how to use those triads. All right, my friends, so let me know if you have any questions. I hope you found this uh, interesting and helpful. Have fun um, practicing these ideas. I'll see you in the next uh, video. Take care.